awkward situation, allowing other infected to help slow them down and to keep that person hanging. So see those edges as resources. Another environmental resource to take advantage of is car alarms. Smokers are the best at pulling survivors into this, but a whole bunch of infected can set them off. This will, of course, bring a horde which is going to help to slow the survivors down or maybe do some damage to help take them out. If you can't make a survivor reach the car, though, you can always try and make them shoot it by simply dancing around it like a maniac and bait them into shooting you. Or for boomers, you can simply stand next to alarmed cars, and if you get blown up, you will set off the car alarm, provided the survivors are near enough to it. Also, those death drops, like we mentioned earlier, places where the survivors can drop down but can't get back up, those are a resource to be used because the survivors will either not be able to get back up at all or they'll take some time to get back up. Either way, using these parts of the map translates to damage. And these, just like insta-kills for charges, are what you should go for when you get certain infected in certain areas. When you get a smoker on this part of No Mercy, go for that death drop spot, because sometimes they will result in the death of a survivor. Edgy, angry little girls in their underwear is also a resource to be... <laughs> oh, I can't say that. I can't say that. Witches are another resource to take advantage of, because if you let the survivors crown them and instantly kill them, it's a big waste. So like this smoker here, pull them into her if you need to, or simply dance around her and try to make some dopey survivor shoot her, which will make her, of course, go mental, chase after them, and then you can all dive in to try and add to the carnage. While playing random duos, I... Is he down? Yeah, this guy's not. Be careful, they might just be used. I'm on! And while things didn't go...